Okay, hello and welcome to the Pine Barrens. We are at Indian Island County Park. It's a place I haven't been to in a number of years, and I don't even know if I've taken a video here or not, but uh, we're going to be walking to a nice piney island along the water. This is along the water, and uh, we will get to see some wildlife here as well. Beautiful day. Another beautiful day. Yep, we got some big beauties here. I need to get to the island where it's really piney. It's only about a half an hour. This place isn't that big, but I keep stopping to take pictures. It gets pretty big. There's another osprey over there. View of the water here. Beautiful pines here. Wait till we get to that island. It's going to be amazing. We are right on the water, so we got a nice breeze here. This is all marsh stuff. You don't want to come here in the summer because the bugs are going to be terrible. So I wanted to make sure I got here before it got too warm. We're going to go this way. Unfortunately, I think I felt a few flies already. That's nice. Ooh, we got a butterfly. Yeah, green head. Was a green head or a pine fly? Showed this little butterfly to you before. He's a common painted lady, I think. One of the last one. Yeah, here we should have some nice peace and quiet. Nice view of the bay here. This is the Peconic Bay. Well, when we get to the beach, you'll see. It's going to be beautiful. It's not too big of a hike, but so it should be there in about a half an hour or less. It appears they're doing some construction over here, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way around this. You know, you know what? We'll just walk through this construction zone. I don't know what they're doing over here. Maybe beetle eradications. Back on the foot trail. Yes, yeah, there it is. It goes back off to the left. I remember you have to go back on the road for a little bit. And then this will take you back to the trail. I might just take the road, though. Um, yeah, I want to take the trail. Oh, that's a nice piney area over here. Trail splits off. I'm going to head in this direction here. So that just, I think that's just going to come out on the road again. We don't want that. So, uh, yeah, this is really beautiful here. See the oaks are beginning to bud. You get some nice color in the trees. Not just from the pines, but from the oaks too. It's really pretty. If you saw my Belmont Lake photo video yesterday, you'll see some of the color from some of the maples. They're just starting. But, uh, yeah, it's beautiful here. Oh, man, yeah, some bugs here for sure. But, wow, it's beautiful. Yeah, we already got pine flies already there. Never come out in April. If they're out here, you know they're probably out in Jersey. <laughs> Jersey's notorious for pine flies. All right, we've got another viewpoint of the water coming up here. Oh man, it's beautiful. Yeah, we got some clouds over there, but they shouldn't bother us. Hopefully, they stay over there, mainly over the middle middle part of the island. We are in the middle, but we're by the water. Absolutely beautiful. We're coming. We got a few viewpoints of the water. Here's one right here. Um, we're gonna get another one. I think there's another one further down. It's better. I 
I know when I'm gonna get to the island. I know. We'll get there. But I wanted to kind of go through this pine grove first because it's beautiful. Look at that. Big beauty over there. Kind of into the sun there. Or there's a viewpoint here. The water. Yeah, this must be the viewpoint. All right. So let's walk down here. Check out the viewpoint. This must be it right here. I think this dock floated away or something. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to look like this. <laughs> Only one of the countless storms we had kind of washed this dock out. So, yeah, I can't really climb on top of it because it got washed away. So, yeah, well, back over here. <laughs> Gorgeous spot here. All right, let's, we gotta get to the island. I usually don't start my hikes this late. I mean, I started at like 1.30, all right? Because the train, the problem is the train, basically, well, it's just, it, they're, 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 there's buses in place of the trains because they're doing work, but the schedule, I either have to leave on a 6.35 train out of Mineola or a 12 or an 11.05 train. So I'd rather get the 11.05 because I don't feel like getting up at 5 in the morning. <laughs> Look at these shapes here, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is beautiful. Absolutely amazing here. I feel it's close to, yes, it's an ice cream truck. I don't know, I don't know how there's an ice cream truck in here. Hear it? I mean, I don't know how that is. Yeah, you got some real beauties here. There's another big one. I think we're getting to the point where we're going to be heading over to the island shortly. It's called Indian Island because there's an island at the end of it. And it's beautiful. And this island's going to be very, very piney. <laughs> very piney. Oh, man. Beautiful. He's beautiful at high sun angle. Oh. So you get that high sun angle. The sun was like lower. That's why you're almost better off coming later. But still, the sun angle is still very high at this time so I still don't know where that ice cream truck why is there an ice cream truck in the park driving around weird so the island is over there and uh, so we're gonna have to head so a little bit out of the way to get there because we took this path instead of going straight but we should be there in about five or ten minutes okay so I think we're getting close so we're going to be making a left on this road here, and uh, check out the island. All right, the road and the island is a very popular place, so we will probably come across people here. Ah, look at these beautiful pines. So here we go. Here we are. Our first viewpoint here. This is beautiful. Check this out. What is actually? Oh, those are fish. Those are fit. What is going on here? <laughs> oh my God! We got fish just darting out of the. There's so many fish stirring up the water. Take a look. Yeah, they're baby fish. Very little fish. over the place. Look at that. They're very small fish. They're probably like larval fish or whatever, but they're very small. So here's the 
beach. We'll be there. We'll walk back along the beach. But first, we're going to check out all these pines that you see up ahead. Looks like I see another spray. Here's the island right here. It's really spectacular. Oh man, look at these shapes here. Wow. It's like a big welcome sign. What a beautiful place. This is this is this is the highlight of it right here is this island because there's nothing but pitch pines growing on this island here. Whoa. Watch your step. This is why this is what happens when I'm looking up and I'm not looking down. That's a recipe for the fall. Luckily that didn't happen. Um Yeah, beautiful pines here, and you can see there's a nice pine grove here. It's absolutely spectacular. shapes here man this is just absolutely spectacular probably come here on a hot summer day there's probably a nice breeze here but the problem is the bugs which I'm sure are pretty bad man, look at these shapes here man this is just spectacular Beautiful, beautiful spot here. Absolutely beautiful. All right, get down to the beach in a minute. But we're gonna check these shapes out first. This is just nothing but pines here. Nothing but pines. Nothing but pines. say nothing but great shapes island and nothing but great shapes here I'm telling you nothing but great shapes I gotta keep remind myself to look down <laughs> oh man get this beauty over here too all right it seems like they're doing a, there's a construction area over there so we can't go over there all right that pit that's the path to the beach Take a look at this. Right, here we go. Another beauty. Look at this one. Big beauty. That's what I call a big beauty. We got some real big beauties here. Man, all right, let's go to the water. I know it's mesmerizing, isn't it? it? Sure is. But let's go to the water. Okay, let's go down to the beach. This is the path. Such a nice breeze down here. Oh my gosh. Paddock Bay here. I know I see some serious crap over there, but for the most part, it's still sunny over here. Let's go down by the water here. Look at this. We'll walk along the beach now. Ah, it's beautiful. Of course, you got the pines. Can you can picture over here. Here we are. Paddock Bay. Wow, it is spectacular. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna get to talk.
so beautiful. All right, let's walk along the beach. All right. This is, the water is so clean. Look at it. It's just, it's just incredible. It's like some kind of tropical paradise we're in. <laughs> There you go, there's the beach. Absolutely spectacular. All right, we're gonna head back to the island now. Let's take a look at some of these shapes first, though. Look at that. Yeah, we'll head back this way. The tide is actually out. Um, and again, that's not that way, that's looking toward Manabelle Hills, I think. But anyway, uh, yeah, take a look at these shapes here. Get back over here. Beautiful. Yeah, I can just zoom over to him. Yeah, we got some of that damn surface. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful place. Absolutely a beautiful place. All right, so we're gonna get away from the beach. We're gonna go back to the island. And yes, I'm running behind schedule, as I always am. Hard to uh, be on schedule here. There's still a little more of the park to show you too. look at the beach I guess before we go it's just too beautiful not to so again this is the conic bay here starting to get messy now. I'm going to be heading on out, so I'm be here a little longer than I thought I was going to be here. <laughs> but it looks small on the map, but once you're here, you realize how beautiful it is. You got to really take your time. You know, I'm part of a. I've been doing uh, some hikes with the group, but the problem with the group hikes, they love to go fast, and I'm not. You know, I like to take my time and. I walk fast plenty of other times. When I'm here, I like to kind of take it slow. I enjoy it, especially when it's a beautiful day. Oh, man. All right. Walking this way and following this road out, and then I'll be heading back over to Riverhead. I have to walk there. Um, I took the bus. I took the 92, which dropped me off at Hubbard. But uh, I might actually wind up being quicker just to walk all the way back to town. It's a mile. It's a couple of miles. So we're gonna head on, start heading on out of here. I think. All right. So this is the path, road we gotta follow. It says park exit that way, but my map tells me I go straight. So there's another trail over there. We're not gonna be taking that. A lot of different trails in here. 
but we'll be back here definitely well I'd love to get back here one more time but the weather is probably not going to be cooperating with us once we get into May so that's why I'm enjoying the day because once we get into May we're going to be dealing with a lot of warm weather and junky weather too with a lot of clouds around so I like my days with the sun out. <sighs> Just have to remember where I've got to make the left, that's all. Not yet. <sighs> Needless to say, I won't be in Rockville Center later tonight. <laughs> Skipping it tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. I was there last night. They're going to be living it up because they won big today, I think. I don't need to be around that. These are the campgrounds. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't mind camping out. <laughs> if I had the money, I'd have one of those things. Camp. Hey, look, we got a Rangers fan. That's good to see. Rangers doing great, man. I'm on track to possibly get the Stanley Cup, perhaps. Doing better than the Islanders. It's just good to see some Rangers fans, because I'm a Rangers fan. As far as the Islanders go, they lost their soul when they went to UBS. Not in the barn anymore. And that's why they're cursed. You know? Because now it's now it's now the snobs took over the Islanders team. UBS, that's that's a Wall Street firm. All right. So, and the Mets are doing great too. Yeah, I got to see the Yankees lose last. Oh, I was in Rockville Center last night, and I was watching on one of the TVs. Of course, they had the Yankee game on because the snobs love the Yankees, and I got to see Aaron Judge strike out yet again, which was. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. I mean, Boone got thrown out. The Yankees are such an arrogant team. I can't stand the Yankees. So, no, I don't root for the Yankees. I can't stand the Yankees. All right. I root for the Mets. That's a beauty. All right. Oh, man. All right, we're going to be having to make a left soon, I think. I don't want to get lost. That's a big beauty, yeah. This is a beautiful place to camp. Highly recommend it. Well, I've never camped here. I see a lot of people that do it. It's a really nice place. I kind of wish I could camp here instead of going back to my place. <laughs> well, I won't have to worry about not getting fresh air here, huh? That's for sure. You know my place is going to be hot. You know it. The place I live in is just... Uh, you know, a lot of it has more to do with the apartment itself than Mineola. It's just that, you know. Well, anyway, let me focus on my walking and make sure I don't make any wrong turns. So here's the sign for the exit. So we're going to be making a left over here. And here we go. The sign says Indian Point Road. So it's this way. All right, we got to get on out of here. Actually, I was over there. I got to kind of come back over here. So I want to say hello to that beautiful pitch pine over there. That is the exit right there. So we're just going to have to cross under the highway. I'm going to wrap up the video before we get to that spot, though. I don't have to walk to Riverhead. It's not too far. It's like two miles, a little over two miles. So there you go, Suffolk County Parks. You notice the county executive's name is not there anymore. Ed Romaine took his name off. It took the name away. Very good. I like Ed Romaine. Blakeman's like the complete opposite of him. But I think Ed Romaine's doing a good job. And prospects look good for Suffolk County. I see a good amount of park police here. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching and hopefully you got out a chance to enjoy this beautiful, spectacular day. 
And remember what it's all about. It's all about those great shapes.